Hello, I'm Smoky Nine Five Seven, and thank you for joining me for episode two of my Eagle Rock playthrough. So, a uh, quick recap: in episode one, I was able to get rid of the two national uh, spirits that I start off with, the one being Trading Blimps, which completely nerfed my airships, and Ineffective Army, which basically uh, made my army absolute trash. I replaced it with Trained Army which now gives me a 5% buff to my organization, organization defense but does increase my training time by 15% and military airships which has risen, made my production cost go up but now I get boosts to all my combat missions. I also put the air marshal in power so we'd have a bit more of a offensive uh, playthrough and I was able to create three trading branches around the wasteland and I also became a trade node myself which I'm now actually going to f promote to level one and we are conquered uh, was it Yunta here to the south now I did overstretch my uh, production a little bit so this episode I'm hoping to make some gains in especially on my power armor so I can create more heavy special forces now in the poor majority did vote for ballistic weaponry so I am going to carry on with that straight away with getting warrior equipment yes I know it's 306 days but I've got some plans to make that shorter quite quickly nothing I'm running short on is manpower so I'm going to use the money I have and purchase some laborers to get extra 300 manpower and I've also decided that as much as I like to have some kind of a navy after this canoe hull is finished I'm going to stop all, uh, stop using ships and moving on to convoys as I think each one of these costs me ah oh, it's only 60 it's not that bad but that 16 can be used better somewhere else. So another thing you may have noticed from the previous episode is I had my army ready to take on the uh, dry blowers, but after doing some thinking, they are currently at war with Ubros down south, which is potentially a much more dangerous enemy and I would rather take them out before they take out the dry blowers because there are a total of six little landings here across so right now it's three each so I would rather go against Ubros first as the more potential enemy and then the dry blows after that um, and only have to guard three border crossings rather than six ah there's my direct support finished so that will give me some extra demolitions and uh, so dynamite and um, machine guns for my teams but it's not enough I think for me to add them onto my units yet. So let me just double check. No, so I'm still short. And I don't believe. Okay, so I don't have enough money either. So, yeah, that's my plan. So I'm going to do sourcing weaponry so I can get another 60,000 bottle caps and 15 influence points with all those organizations so I can buy something so I can equip finally finish off my templates and make them a nice template I can actually use with ok so my vacuum tubes is finished researching so I'm going to move on to primitive radio but that's not really what I wanted to show you what I actually want to show you, can let me just make sure, yeah, make sure this goes to the, there. 
um, I want to I've decided to go for lock and load so I can get 10% soft attack on my infantry equipment and but more importantly some research speed now for those that don't know sometimes it kicks and sometimes it doesn't just to make sure I'm just going to reset it so I'm going to skip to another research then back but now I'm also going to spend 50 arm experience so I can get it done now in 194 days and I've still got some how's my looking here no I don't have the money yet either or I'd have to wait for the focus to finish and then I'm going to boost my army up a little bit more okay so I finished sourcing some weaponry and I put a whole bunch more money so I'm now going to do the focus extinction so I can get the claims on the territory for the old bones which Ubros has already conquered but there's still claims there so I'll still be able to get a war goal on that and I've got some money now so let me see what I can spend so I want some machine guns and then I want some dynamite that's basically all my money gone but now I can finish editing this template so we're going ballistic weapons which means service rifle I got right there and then some important tips for any new players is there's really any template will work as long as you look out for three things basically the average is the, the, the common width you want to go for is 20 you can go for 10 or 30 but 20 always seems to work better, better with everyone as a tool tip says here combat width tells you how much room this division will take up in combat for example if a combat is a total width of 60 you can fit three divisions width of 20 in so the ge good general rule of thumb is if you're going to make 10 widths make everything 10 if you're going to make 20 make everything 20 or 30 so most people always go for 20 then another thing you want to look out for is organization 30 is your absolute minimum you want to go for 40 is a target I got 58 that's brilliant this is what will keep your unit in the fight before it gives up and retreats so the higher the number the longer they stay in the fight then for attacking soft attack hard attack those are great numbers and you should always try to get them as high as you can for attacking but breakthrough breakthrough is what will make you break the enemy units for example this is what i would call a general purpose infantry division a little bit of attack mainly for defense but if you compare it to my power armor breakthrough is more than doubles 58.8 .8. still with a very high organization so this is what i will want to try use to break an enemy with and then try hold the line this is a good unit to go for so three main rules make sure comment with is 20 is seen as the bit as the best one all round but 10 or 30 could work organization 30 is your lowest and you'll have problems with this maybe with robots or tanks 40 is what you're aiming for and then if you are attacking get your breakthrough as high as you can those rules will work for I don't care if you're using tanks or robots or heavy special forces it'll work those three rules will work across any type of unit all right extinction is completed I just realized I said tribe worship bones that's frankly ridiculous okay I also got a I didn't notice it before but I got a decision to demand our rightful territories I'm pretty sure they're going to tell me no 
but I'm going to do it anyway. So that's 10 days. That's 27th of January. I'll find out an answer about that. And then I said in the first episode I want to go all out on blimps. So it's time for me to get some bonus weather. How close is that? Let me check first. Hmm, I can do something else first. So I can save on that. Hmm. Ah, I need to get my population up. Okay. Let me go for here. Planning a city. So my construction speed will go up, infrastructure will go up, but my popul state population will change by 800. It says here, in order to accommodate our airships and make the most of our position as a trade node, our city must be carefully planned and optimized. Start. Okay, it's the 1st of Feb, and guess what? They did not return my lands, so uh, I now have a war goal available. And also have the followers of the apocalypse. Now, no, I don't generally like them, but I can really do with extra stability and manpower. So I'm going to say, uh, let them come. And then, oh, pause. All right, I never give them bases because you end up giving up resources. And I only do that if I'm chasing them away. So I'm just going to escort them I'd have just enough manpower and then luckily I don't have to, I can just declare straight away and let's see if I can get this wait yep get this right okay oh get my navy working as well uh, yes okay I don't know yeah okay it's doing that see if they can push across here hopefully these two divisions will be enough oh yes please I'll take thank you for the money back which means I can do which one to choose, which one to choose I need the manpower but I w if I can get the compliance up I can get more manpower that way I'm just hoping I've got two divisions here hopefully they can hold and if these guys can get across then I can make a break So I was talking about earlier about the combat width, 60 width, I'm at full 60, they're at 30. So already, oh, fast on firing one. Already I am at the advantage. I also have aerial and intel advantage as well. Okay, planning a city is done. I shall have 60 days left. I want to get, oh, that's a lot. Let's do that one. But I also have reinforcements where they don't. There we go, and they've broken. Now what would be nice is if I can try yet yeah. thunder outside. It's raining quite heavily here down in the Cape. Okay, this is what I wanted. Okay. Now I've encircled three of the units. These guys can carry on as they want to. Okay, no, they special forces let them rest a little bit. Now squeeze them in half, and you can go there. No. There first. 
Let's keep them, get the pressure going. Oh, and it's time for me to... And I've got another factory. Okay, now I would love to get the head position for the population, but I know I'm close to doing my blimps. I want to get the uh, best blimps. Never taken that before, I can tell you that's the honest truth. And more power armor. Alright, so those three, let's squeeze these guys. Oh, hang dogs on the war path again. Okay, all four of you then in there. So they can just hold there. And it wants to rejoin the line. Okay, they haven't advanced here in the north, that's good. Oh, Gentle the Soul's going to rear pack this time. Okay, there's three divisions less than they had before. Pandora's box. Okay. Read that out at the previous episode. Okay, high rise building is done. Yeah, now it's time for me to go for this hybrid design designs for the air technology boost. Got everything lined up to make that go as fast as possible because I will be researching ahead of time. And let's push in here. Magic. Okay, fine. Now, let's make sure everything's everyone's on the same game plan. Add them here, and we go. Okay, so we've taken up the capital. The new capital is there. long as I get the victory points that's all good okay so it's two more left Whoop. Ah, extra manpower brilliant now let me get my efficiency cap up. See if you guys can go and do anything there. I'm, su I'm surprised that the, uh, what's it, dry blows haven't done anything to attack yet. I certainly would have taken advantage of the situation. What do we have here? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, now I've got some manpower to play with. And another unit. Yeah, let them join there, they'll help reinforce that. <coughs> okay, that attack didn't work. Okay, is my hybrid designs done? So when that research is done on that will be on my land doctrine I can carry on there. That's tempting. No, I'm gonna stick with actually no, I'm gonna stick with vertical industry, more factories, more population. Building for the future here, yeah, building for the future. Okay, here we have, uh, K 
caravans followers there and let's try it again Ah, see, yeah, new rapid deployment is going to be done soon. Uh, even though it is infantry support, oh, 96 days. See, it all adds up. Over a year and a half ahead. That's all going to add up nicely. Uh, oh, yeah, Mojave beat the Mojave territories. That seems to be happening a lot after the last patch. This is taking too long. Although, if they can squeeze them out here, they won't have supply and I can win there. So, all we got, there we go, brilliant. Okay, same thing I did earlier. Just a bit easier because now I can just tell everyone get on there. And my power armor, I want you to go straight. No, no, no. They send you. They send you here first, and then there. Yes. And everybody else can just support. Well, the power armor might not need to do it all by itself. But it will have an easier job if it compared to anybody else. I uh, see now that yeah, they're pushing it there now. Oh, but they're losing ground. Doesn't matter. Faz and I just need to take these two and this will be over. Followers have established themselves, yeah, so I lose some power gain, but the population instability goes up, but my war support is now at 2%, so I need to do something to get that up where I can. Alright. We have another decision for. Okay, right now I don't want anything, so they can all go away. And... You can see I had power armor in the bank and it's all gone. Yeah, so I'm putting so much in power armor right now. Okay, once their organization is back up and running, I'm going to push them onto Storms Creek. Okay, vertical industry is done. What is next? That's a lot. You know, I'm going to continue straight down this line for now. I really need to boost my economy as much as I can. Okay, they lost their territory there. Oh, the free f they got free fighters there. Okay, I didn't see that earlier. Okay. Okay, we looks like we're squeezing them out everywhere. Vault 27 against Black Canyon, that's over here. Alright. Four sons there. All potential enemies I've checked in the focus tree I'll be fighting later on. So just keeping a lazy eye on them. If I can squeeze this one out, then they've got nothing left to fight for. Low tariffs, yes. Ah, okay, we lost one. I'll make sure I'm not wasting five divisions. Delete that, add them there. Had to lose at least one of them, didn't I? <coughs> okay, maximum's gone. I 
Ah, okay. War equipment's finished. What is the cheapest now? 106. Nope. That's going to be hell of expensive. 90. Yeah, let me do a lot of machine guns first. And then I'll do... I've decided to go flamethrowers. For the extra breakthrough. Also, these guys seem like flamethrower kind of people. Alright. Now I'm going to get that head physician. That's done. Let's get and I've got sophisticated construction tech, which is going to work out nice in the end. And I think this is actually going to take me up to the maximum of... And here's something I only realized when I was prepping for this episode. The maximum slot used to be 25, I swear. It's now 30. It, that is nice. And it's in every province. It's not that I swear it used to be 25. But back to the war. Okay, I always need to get their refresh, refresh rate back up. Come, one last one. Push before they can reinforce it. Done. And it's all my and they got plasma two hundred and six. Oh yeah, it's Ubros, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to okay, I can't take everything. Because they do have a little bit of war score. So just to that for now. Obviously they're gonna fight me. And lose. Then I'm gonna take the last two. And everything will be done. So I now own there. Okay. Put you guys here. And let's do a little bit of training. Okay. <coughs> Wasn't too bad. Okay, skyscrapers is finished. Now this research slot looks very tempting but I know I need to do Burham Springs so I can get my compliance up and my resistance down as well as get a coring reduction of 25% and the mass is instead of costing a maximum of 300 it's now can only do it be a maximum of 225 which is a big difference plus get research speed boost of 15% so it says yeah this plane's place seems to be perpetually on fire let's extinguish it to see what secrets it's hiding start that I also off that little wall I'm now sitting on a massive amount of arm experience which I'm going to use to boost up here now I need to be I'll tell this every time I do this you need to be careful here expanding the ranks and superior firepower are linked if you and then bolted vanguard and rising squadrons are linked so you need to be careful which one you choose so normally to make sure i always choose superior firepower first but i want to increase my special forces cap so i'm going to do expanding the ranks cross my fingers i can still take this this is now see exclusive with expanding the ranks but i can still take superior firepower and I'm going to leave it at that for now. And Colorado Company is going to become a SAS squadron. Slightly short on power armor, but hopefully I can sort that out soon. And my infantry support blimp is completed. So first of all, I'm not going to research the... Uh, anti-air version as I don't have the industry to build that yet so instead I'm going to get some improvements and I'm going to start off with getting lightweight materials so I can make the most of that 35 percent 
uh, research bonus and then for construction I'm going to start making them now something I need to mention this is not like when you upgrade your tanks or something else like that where it'll start using the newer model once I have enough of these I'm actually going to have to delete yes I know see I'm missing I'm actually going to have to delete my current airship squadron and create a new one and all those other airships are actually just going to go into my store so yeah that's an unfortunate thing but that's where the game works and you just have to make the best of it okay thank goodness Burm Springs is finished because this is a resistance is really starting to kill me so I can get a bit better at that now so I just want to get this let it go now ah here we go get this last research slot and then also I have a bit more so I'm actually going to start my intelligence agency let's choose something hmm, I'm going to go for that one I normally love sneaky bastards but let's go for I don't know let's go for the E R I A ERA Eagle Rock Intelligence Agency that's not terrible that guy's sole job will be rooting out resistance for the time being Alright, so now, since I've finished high trade, which I've got to read out, as Igor continues to develop through widespread trade, many of the bright mines shattered around the waste have been coming to live in our city. So with that extra research slot, I will carry on with my land doctrine, but I need more money, so I'm going to, these are only 15 days, so I'm going to do a bunch of these, I'm going to start off with the Vardian trade, a land of sin. Okay. And they shall do. Hmm. Yeah, let's at least do some of these before I start researching something else. This makes my army so much better. Cast that's the Vardian trade set up so next I'm going to do Arizona trade and I also picked up the Sterling column who is the honest speaker just so I can try to get a little bit more manpower but also get my war support up and my resistance target down so I'm still at zero manpower still need 235 and I have still 39 days until I can buy some more laborers so that is why I'm not going on another war just yet until I can get this situation under control. Okay, so anti-partisan is finished. So I'm going to do the second one so I can get a nice 150% boost. My operative is ready. I'm going to choose Perry Haynes here, smooth talker, infiltrator, so the choice and straight to work with you this is my problem area well it's actually more than I thought okay yeah, I can cover everything there Arizona trade is done maybe just check anything it needs to be researched soon lightweight materials is there another quick boost for my Air Force I want to save that for now. Hmm. No, okay. Then I'm going to carry on with finishing off these so I can have them ready to go whenever I need them. Colorado trade next. Okay, that's Colorado trade done. Idahoian one, a land of steam, and 
time to change another template because I'm <laughs> 25 manpower for me right now is a lot okay Idahoian trade is finished and I have realized that I'm not getting any of these to open up new branches because each one requires 99 manpower which I don't have so right now regretting I didn't take um, military signing bonus as that would have helped me I think a lot more right now than uh, uh, which one did I take again I took uh, the new citizen gift which one it was called so I'm going to try do this line here I'm going to disband the council get 100 political power try to boost my government up a little bit more Okay, I finished spanning the council. Okay, council has nothing to do for the good of the people. They have only certain to benefit themselves. They are a product of a bygone era and thus must be left behind. So that's done the vicious drills. So that will give me extra army experience. Okay, cool. Stability is going to suck, but war support will be great. Our military, our people as a whole are weak from generations of complacency. We must learn to face the wasteland. And I'm also going to use this nice chunk of political power to go from settlement protection to wasteland militias. Unfortunately, don't have enough to go to fun. That's where I want to go. This is for me the sweet spot where you get the most recruitable population without starting to get the debuffs. So wasteland militias for now it is. And also... I can get some laborers and that means I'm going to open up let's go for the Colorado branch let's get one of those done now this I haven't seen in a long time okay so the AI going with haze a season of simultaneous apprehension and enthusiasm has befallen the West the news came out of New California as quickly as it manifested the New California Republic, founded on the values and institutions of the old world, swallowed its own tail with the election of Grant C. Hayes. Preoccupied with every point in time, save for the present, the incoming administration promises sweeping changes to the social and economic fabric of the Republic. Observers regard the incoming administration with astonishment, the most learned citing the promised implementation of the developed economic systems not seen in practice since before the Great War to forecast an imminent golden age for the Republic. A few understand ex precisely what an inflation is or what constitutes contradictory or explanatory monetary policy, yet cautious optimism per permeates the general atmosphere, though many do regard with disquiet the government's inexplicit stated attention to fondle, squeeze, and pull on their hard-earned money. Okay, light speed in which direction? And also, I just want to note, all my efforts seem to be coming to fruition as my manpower is finally climbing. Let's hope it carries on that way. Ah, Dog City. Colorado Train Expedition Log. This is most unfortunate. It seems like the scavengers that kicked our ancestors out of Denver have only grown in strength. They now call Denver Dog City, a disgrace to say the least. Regardless, trade, with the ha trade of the hangdogs is still profitable due to the riches they find across the city. Acknowledged. Okay. So now, which one should I open next? I'm going to go for... Where is that City of Sin? Oh yeah, Nevada, City of Sin. So let's open that one. And I actually want to see... So I think that's something like that one I think I got from Texas. So they do actually do add some new goods I can buy. Which is actually quite cool. And basically straight away vicious, vicious drills is done now population is okay for now I was going to take military youth but I'm going to save that because no more than okay we currently have four so I need to set up the next one so yes I am going to carry on with 
military youth. So I can get 5% decrease in division training time, population plus 10%, which is nice. The spirit of the youth will remain pure and untamed. They will serve as the key to unlocking our future. Okay, military youth is done. So just to change things up, I'm going to do cadet training. So I can change my Air Force heritage to Air Force cadets. Those who wish to pilot, pilot aircraft or serve in our air crew require specialized training, which we should definitely provide. And you may have noticed I am now getting a bit more confident and I'm setting up to take on the drive loads. Might not be this episode, but otherwise it will be the beginning of episode 3. And the twin mothers flee north, so they have lost against Lanius. No surprise there. So now they can see they've set up here by paradise. The twin mothers as a tribe have seemed, have seemed to have taught their last lesson. Lanius's forces for fleeing, fleeing the valley and taking control of their sacred temples and fields. When the time came to finally bring Diana herself out for questioning, the legion was definitely empty-handed. Diana would have opened up her true home in paradise to wastelanders and twin mothers refugees seeking to heal from the injuries they took and prepare for a defense against further legionary attacks. Things are getting stranger in Colorado, yes. Twin mothers have fled north to paradise after losing their war to Lanius, so they are there. And my neighbors, fantastic. Fall of Diana. The twin mothers tribe had been afflicted with cat catastrophic loss by the bloody hands of Lanius cohort. The female warriors fought bravely, yet as brave as they were, they eventually had to retreat. Diana watches from her afar, a burning anger growing. She will pull this back at least, that's what she tells herself, but will she? What does this mean for Colorado? Well, it means for Colorado that Eagle Rock is going to rule it. All right, New Vegas, Nevada Trade Expedition Log. As we approached Nova Nevada during the night, we saw a spy of light and neon signs in the distance. As we drew nearer, we saw a bustling metropolis with mostly intact buildings and plenty of traders. Welcome to New Vegas, the Silver City or the City of Sin, depending on who you ask. There are plenty of goods to be bought here, but the main attraction are the countless casinos that line Vegas Strip. However, rest assured, I've limited the amount of caps the crew can waste at such attractions. Acknowledged. And if we wait just one more day... Yes, cadet training is finished. So I'm going to start Peculiar Vendors. And I'm going to hire Chief of the Air Force, Airship Pilot Carol Aiken which means my blimps will get plus 5 agility and a 50% ace air ace bonus and then whoop what happened to my decisions I don't think I have any left I've opened all of them or well, something's gone on oh I've used all my political power okay I can do that next episode I'm gonna end it off here Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in episode 3 which now that I have more manpower I will hope will be a much more aggressive episode as I expand my territory first to the east and then at some point down south. But again, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.